Hello and welcome back students. Let us continue important question from the topic versatile nature of carbon from the chapter carbon and its compounds. As you can see that I have marked this topic important because at times you have direct question from here that why carbon forms million of compounds. So let's look at the question that can be asked from here. The question could be list and briefly explain two properties of carbon which lead to the huge number of carbon compounds that we see around us or the number of carbon compounds is more than those formed by all other elements put together. You know, there are 118 well-known elements, right? So if we take carbon and the remaining 117, we see that the compounds formed by carbon are much, much, much more as compared to all other elements that combine together. So we have to justify the statement by giving two reasons. So basically the two reasons are one catenation and then in one line you will explain what catenation means and the second one tetra covalency of carbon. This also you will explain in a line or maybe with an example. These are two major reasons why carbon showed millions of compounds. Although there are other reasons, for example, formation of multiple bonds, small size of carbon, but they are minor reasons. These are the two major reasons why carbon shows millions of compounds. Now, before I move on to what you're supposed to write as answer, right, we'll quickly understand what is catenation and tetracovalency. Now, catenation, just remember one word, catenation implies self-linking, linking with itself. So, carbon has this unique ability, a special ability of linking with itself. It can link in the form of straight chain. You can see there's a straight chain here or branches. Branches means how? Let's say one, two, three. You have a branch at two, right? Or it could be in the form of rings. And for formation of ring, you require at least three members. So, you have the simplest possible ring structure, three-membered ring. This is a four-member ring, a five-member ring, six-member ring, and so on. So carbon can self-link to form a straight chain, branch chain, or rings. And you can see all these are free valencies of carbons, right? That means it can be attached to hydrogen or maybe another carbon or chlorine and so on. So this ability give carbon an edge where it can be linked to so many other atoms and form so many new compounds. Now moving on to the next property that is tetracovalency of carbon. As the name suggests, tetra means four. Covalency. Carbon forms covalent compounds and the valency of carbon is equal to four. That means it can share four electrons. Now with whom it is going to share electrons? Now this carbon is going to share electrons and form bonds with either itself carbon that's self-linking or any other element which is monovalent for example hydrogen, chlorine, fluorine etc. Right? For example if that element is hydrogen you get a compound called methane. Now I substitute that hydrogen with chlorine all for chlorine you get another compound. If I substitute just one hydrogen with chlorine I get another compound. 2 with chlorine, another compound. 3 with chlorine, another compound. So you can see carbon has a valency of 4 and can combine with other elements or itself. And this helps it to form so many compounds. Alright? See, it can combine with itself also, carbon, and then these are the free valency. It can either combine further with hydrogen or methyl group and so on. You don't have to remember the name. This is all in your higher classes. So you got an idea what exactly tetracovalency of carbon stands for. So this was the question and your answer should be the two properties are number one catenation. Since it is list and briefly explain, do not forget this part. List means you only tell catenation and tetracovalency. And briefly explain means you are supposed to write a couple of lines with the help of figures to explain what catenation means. Self-linkage, ability of carbon to form bonds with itself and you can show certain examples in the form of chain, in the form of branch, show the free valency or show atoms attached to it, right? This way. You can have in the form of ring and so on. Tetracovalency, carbon has a valency of 4. First you explain what does tetracovalency means. And because it has a valency of 4, it has the ability to bond with 4 more carbon atoms or other monovalent atoms. And again, you can give an example showing say methane, right? Or simply example with 3 hydrogen 1 chlorine. Even if this type of question is asked, you are supposed to justify the statement by giving two reasons. Justify means you are supposed to write the two properties and at least write one line about it. So this is the, so this is an, 
So this is the only question that can be put up from the versatile nature of carbon. So in the next video, we are going to talk about some questions that can be framed from allotropes of carbon, although that portion is in orange box, but you might have some reasoning questions. We'll quickly do those questions. They're not very important, but yes, the topic is given. So we'll do certain questions that can be asked in examination. So stay tuned to my channel. Bye-bye.